Hi friends, how are you? Hope you are fine. Today's topic is the duties and responsibility of welding inspector. As a welding inspector, what are the duties and responsibilities are there? You should know before you start the any welding inspection at site. So uh, we will go one by one uh, duties and responsibility. So there are three types of before welding, after welding, and during welding, and after welding. These three things you should know very well. So this is the first one and we will give the explanation by as a question types. You see here, keep the three main responsibility of a welding inspector. What are the main three responsibility you should know as a welding inspector? First is code compliance. Second is workmanship control. Third is the documentation control. So what is the code compliant? So when you are doing, when you are doing, uh, when a welding inspector is going to at, going to site, he should check the W page. So in W page, which code they are following? As it is AWSD for 1.1 or as me section 9. So every code have their different requirements. So thus this the W page should comply the code. That is the code compliance workmanship control means that welder who is doing the welding that have the welder id card means he have the workmanship means before he have got the card he have already done the welding and that's why we are giving the card welding i cut there so workmanship control you can check as the welding inspector also he can check the they are doing they can uh, before start the welding they can check the uh, that uh, the stage pitch and he can just check the all the parameter is uh, correct so he can uh, he can start the welding with the welding inspector and uh, documentation control documentation control what are the documentation control and you have we have to check when during the welding you have to check and before the welding you have to check wps and pq error there and it is already approved so you should check first and then they can the documentation control during welding the parameter is there that parameter should be uh, written any paper or it should be documented so that is the documentation control and first the, and the last one is the you have you have the welding inspection record means old visual record that should be the old documentation control so this is the three main responsibility of the welding inspector one is code compliance second is the workmanship control and third is the documentation control second is to give the main attributes which are which all welding inspector must process so this is the basic things every welder or welding inspector should have First is honesty, then is integrity, then is knowledge. Definitely, we need knowledge. Without knowledge, we cannot do the welding inspection. Good communicator means communication. It should be, there is should be good communicator. Means anybody is understanding. Welder is uh, telling something, you should understand clearly. That is the old good communicator should be there. And physical fitness, definitely. In some cases are there, in the stringent, con stringent condition, welding uh, maybe uh, you need to check that good uh, that condition that time you need the physical fitness in stringent condition definitely we need the physical fitness so this is the give the main attributes which all welding inspector must process third is now we'll start the main things a welding inspector should refer to what document and say records Welding inspector personnel should be familiar with relevant standard, which standard we are following for the particular WPS. Because the welding inspector should know this one, rules and specification. Every client have the different specification. Every company have the different specification for this other than the standard. So you should follow that specification also, including the standard. So applicable to the fabrication work to be undertaken. For example, I just give an example BSEN 970 non destructive exemption for fusion oil based visual examination. Be informed about the welding procedure to be used, have a good vision. So, this is one example. So, which code here? The hair follow hair following the BSEN 970. If you go the ASME section 9, you should mention ASME section 9 the welding and breaking qualification. So, you can uh, you can understand that which code which standard we are asking here. 
and be informed about the welding procedure to be used as a good vision definitely without good vision we cannot check the welding inspection we should be checked every 12 months so good vision it should be you should be checked every 12 months and you should have the report and in the audit time if somebody asks they ask this question maybe also in some cases they ask this one the visual examination you have the any certificate so you have certificate but in that certificate one year they can ask that uh, you have the any good vision certificate in every 12 months or so no then it will be maybe it will be problem that but uh, definitely you should have this one 12 month uh, each 12 month a uh, good vision certificate means i test give main duties of the welding inspector before welding and before assembly and after assembly so this is the before welding before welding what do you need to check preparation familiarization with relevant documents application standard code point quality control procedure quality plan inspection so these are the all things you need to check applicable standard which are application standard which are standard you are following which code you are following which drawing because why you are why we are telling the drawing drawing is mentioned the which which side it is welding also uh, welding side everything is mentioned in the drawing some of the drawing it is mentioned clearly and also quality control procedure which control how to control the quality some of the pwht maybe it is a preheat control so you have to check the quality control procedure what are the steps are there and it is should be approved it should be approved before start of the uh, welding quality plan inspection quality plan what are the quality plan inspection so you, all these things should be checked before welding welding procedure definitely you should check the welding procedure is already approved in it is available in the available for welder and inspector and also at site so it should be available in welder or inspector welding procedure welder qualification so welder qualification should be there with welder and suite with wpa certificate in valid day and that that day when they are showing welder is showing to inspector welding inspector that certificate that certificate should be valid in that day and uh, it should be there is a certificate that is called welder qualification certificate equipment enough for welding job good in order including calibration so calibration all equipment should be whatever requirement in calibration so that machine should be calibrated material which material certificate dimension condition of material so it is the material means the base metal we are asking the base material whatever the what is the milt certificate should be there the dimension should be checked and uh, before welding that the wpa there is the dimension is there people angle and the root face root toe everything uh, should be checked the before uh, before the welding old preparation comply with the wps drawing free from defect and contamination this is old preparation the consumable is correct and follow wps to be controlled by the procedure so consumable you should follow the wps which consumable are requirement also you have to check that consumable how you will storage and how will you use that site so there should be a procedure that is called consumable control procedure well preparation comply with wps drawing free from defect and contamination so well preparation how will we prepare as per the wps and the drawing and you should check the before welding there should not be any contamination and there should not be any defect so you can see here some of the example how many what are the things are requirement here you see here hand gloves then uh, you see here trolley all these things are here you can see helmet everything you can see consumable you can see the here how are the group type single square group single bevel group several bevel group single b group so this is the this is the this type of joints are there welding equipment good in order and include and calibrate so you definitely you should check the welding machine should be in calibrated condition and every six months you should check the recalibration is required and you have to change your sticker heat up age preparation comply with wps tag well so heat up when you are doing the heat up so age preparation comply that the age the tag weld you are doing the tag weld here so that tag weld that tag weld 
that tag weld is should be comply with the WPS. That WPS that is called tag weld WPS. You have to make the tag weld WPS as per the client requirement. Free heat. Check WPS, follow WPS to make sure minimum temperature to be reached. So, in the free heat condition, you should before uh, welding. So, you have to you have to check the free heat. The check WPS. What are the WPS requirement in the free heat requirement? So, follow the WPS and make sure there is the minimum temperature should be reached there. Then you can start the welding. Give the main duty this is called the before welding now you have to check you give, give main duties of the welding inspector during welding during welding what weather condition definitely weather condition you have to check to be properly if welded at work site or site so workstation or site you have to check the weather condition if weather condition is there so different so you have to check the comply the storage condition of the consumable or base metal so you have to think as per that way welding process check WPS which welding process is there so it is also before welding its requirement during welding also welding process there welding process what are the requirement are there maybe it is a uh, current voltage pre temperature all these things in comes under the welding process it should be comply with the WPS that is called check WPS welding process you see here one of the example fusion welding there is a uh, chart is there you see here the fusion welding what are the there liquid metal welding gas welding resistance fusion welding arc fusion welding electron beam welding laser beam welding so basically we are using gas welding and the arc fusion welding here also here you can uh, basically we are using the gas shielded tungsten arc welding also metal arc welding sub metal arc welding gas shielded metal arc welding so this is the two things one is the gas welding one is the liquid metal welding another is the arc fusion welding these two welding we are using basically in all over the mainly oil and gas industries all other in this all other things you can see here some of the electro slag welding this is the special requirement or special cases or special type of manufacturing we are using this type of welding welder definitely welder suitable to welding joint during welding it is also check and the, uh, the during welding and the before welding also check that welder is doing also doing the correct uh, parameter with correct parameter and there is the weaving everything we need to check and uh, as per the uh, WPS and you have to check also uh, there is uh, current and voltage and that is maintaining that welder so welder it should be should be suitable for this welding joint preheat minimum temperature require maximum temperature for enterprise so minimum temperature is preheat is the maximum temperature for enterprise this is the chart for preheat and enterprise temperature welding consumable it should be meet with wps take note the control issue and handling definitely there should be consumable control issue and handling should be there properly welding consumable how you handle the if it is e7018 there's definitely 7018 the storage condition and control issue should be there in the documented so this type of case you have to welding consumable there should be also welding consumable control procedure welding parameter meet with wps all the parameters are there what are the parameter current voltage double speed everything it should be made with the WPS this is with uh, during welding we need to check root runs should be checked before fill up before fill up every root run we need to check and because root runs some of the there you can see the undercut is there so you have to you need to repair that undercut or something other other things some other defects we need to repair so uh, before start of the internal pass so definitely root run should be checked before fill up inter run dressing when you are doing the inter run fill up finish then again you are doing the another run so inter run dressing follow approval process definitely one inter run you are finishing then you need to need the approval process approval process inspector are there may you have to check that uh, you have to show the inspector that is the uh, uh, inter run is clear and you can check with LPT that is there is no defect then you can start the fill up pass fill up and capping distortion control 
you have to check also there is no more holding uh, no avoid over holding if there is over holding more than the requirement there is a, there should be a distortion because of the heat input is more if it is heat input more the distortion will be generated this is called this is the during welding all these things we need to check and after welding what you what you need to check after welding weld identification how to know who welded so definitely there should be weld identification which welder is doing and which side it is welding and uh, you can see here which date and everything mentioned that is the weld identification chart so this is you need to check after welding visual inspection you have to make the one report the visual inspection report and there is a welder which line number which drawing number and it should be follow code and standard requirement so code and standard requirement you need to check the visual inspection and after that you need to make the report the so visual inspection if you go the different requirement if you go awsd 1.1 this is another requirement if you go the b31.3 is a different requirement so every code and standard is different requirement so need to check the visual inspection dimensional survey after visual inspection finish then you need to check the dimensional maybe there is a any type of uh, any type of what type of defect you can see here the distortion if any distortion are there maybe dimensional will not become properly so this is very important after visual inspection you need to check the dimensional survey the follow how will dimensional you have to follow follow the drawing or code drawing there is a dimension are there and dimension you need to check the dimensional um, uh, dimension for the particular welding base for, for the welding joint or particular welding piece other entity after finish then you need to check any entity is required or not if any entity required as per the requirement then you need to check the entity finish and you need to uh, get documented there repairs to be compliance with procedure if any repairs are there there should be definitely repair procedure approved should be there from the client or uh, company and you can repair in front of the inspector if there is a mention in the procedure so it should be compliant with the procedure pressure load test if any hydro test is required after finish then you should be done properly there should be also pressure test procedure that be done the as per the pressure test procedure and the, all the procedure definitely it should be approved by the client or uh, epc company documentation to be recorded for review what are the documentation are there definitely i told you that uh, uh, that is the old visual inspection report, dimensional survey record, visual inspection report. All these things you need to check. We need to record for review. So inspector will check and they will check all these uh, uh, documentation and they will sign and this will be the finish. So these are the main things before welding, during welding, and after welding for as the welding inspector duties and responsibilities. I think uh, these are the easiest way it is explained so you can understand easily those are new in welding inspector or those are doing as a welding supervisor or those are old uh, work as a uh, welding engineer certain and welding uh, supervisor those are main responsibility as a check the welding so this is a very uh, good explanation and you can understand easily so uh, if 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 you uh, if you think any query uh, if you have any query please let me know uh, in in feedback comments in youtube thanks a lot thanks for watching the video don't forget uh, to share and subscribe my channel to get regular video thanks a lot bye bye